was speaking in foreign languages, but human languages in Acts chapter 2. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 1 and 2. Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. I am nothing. Somebody might say, no, that's the verse that confirms this is definitely speaking in angelic languages. The fact is, 1 Corinthians 13 is not about the gifts. It's about God's love. Otherwise, the church is not edified. Because now it's just all about you speaking there in a tongue that people don't understand and then nothing but confusion in the church. So he's trying to stop that. So he's trying to explain God's love to the church. We can understand what he did in verse 1 by studying verse 2. Chapter 13, verse 2. Though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, Truth is, for we know in part, and we prophesy in part. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 9. He's saying, even if it were possible that I had the gift of prophecy and I know all knowledge, but Paul knows that nobody that has the gift of prophecy knows all knowledge. He's being rhetorical. Now let's go back to verse 1 from another translation. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 1 in the CEV, this is how it reads. Now that you understand what he was doing. What if I could speak all languages of humans and even of angels. He's just extending the argument. Then what if I could even speak the languages of angels and do not have love? So this passage does not teach angelic languages.